hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you all how i make this delicious egg recipe my name is linda and you're welcome back to my channel so for the list of ingredients i'll be using some eggs and i have in here two dozen of eggs which is 24 eggs precisely So now I'll go ahead and place the eggs gently into my pot. Then I'll be adding some water. I'm going to allow the water to be a little bit above the eggs. Then I'm going to cook this for about 10, 8 to 10 minutes. So now 10 minutes later the eggs are already cooked. So then I went ahead and pour some cold water so it's easier for me to peel now i will place in a paper towel into a large bowl this helps to absorb all the water coming out from the eggs while i peel them so now the eggs are all peeled so i'll be using a paper towel to kind of dump the eggs so it um, takes out some of the moisture or some of the liquid so now I'll go ahead and sift in four cups of all-purpose flour. So now if you're going to be using two dozens of egg, which is 24 eggs, you're going to double the amount of flour that you're going to be using. I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements in the description box down below. So um, when they're all nice and sift, I'll be adding some sugar then I'm also going to be needing some butter milk and orange baking powder and salt then I'll be adding about a teaspoon of baking powder then I will go ahead and combine everything together So when that is done, I'll be adding the zest of an orange for flavoring. You can use any flavoring of your choice. Then I'll go ahead and combine everything together until it's nice and mixed. Then I'll be adding the unsalted butter. I'll be using the pastry blender to match up the butter so it's easier for me to work with you can also use your fingers for this method it also works really good so when I'm all done with that I'm going to create a hole at the center of the flour then I'll be cracking in two eggs Then I'll be adding the milk. You can use any milk of your choice. I'll be using an evaporated milk. So when that is done, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing everything together until a dough is formed. If you notice that your, the mixture of the flour is not coming together, go ahead and add in a little bit more of the milk. Be careful not to add too much because you don't want the dough to be too soft. So when the dough is formed, it should be looking like this. So now I went ahead and wrapped the dough in a plastic wrap and I'm going to put it in the fridge to chill for about 5 minutes or less. You can also leave it at your countertop for it to rest a bit before using it. So now it's time for me to use the dough. I took it out from the fridge and I'm going to share the dough in half. 
I'm going to kind of roll it out to kind of shape the dough so it's easier to get a perfect size. Then I will cut the dough into six portions. Also do same for the other half. I'll cut them into six portions. So that means I'll have 12 portions of dough. That's for one dozen of eggs. So now I'll kind of flatten the dough to a flat surface. You can also do this process by hand or you can do it on your palm. So it should be looking like this and when I'm all done with that, I'll go ahead and place the eggs into the dough. Then I'll go ahead and use my fingers to kind of pinch the dough to cover it all up. You want to be careful when doing this because you don't want the dough to um, tear into two when frying. So make sure you seal it up nicely roll it up nicely so now when i'm all done with that it should be looking like this so i'll go ahead and continue with the rest of the dough so now it's all nice and ready so i'll be placing a paper towel onto the sieve So my oil has been heating up for some time. So I'll go ahead and deep fry the um, egg roll into the oil. Make sure your oil is not too hot because we don't want it to get burnt. So make sure it's not too hot. And also make sure to continuously stir the, um, the dough in the oil so that they cook evenly. So it's nice and golden brown now. You can see how nicely they all look. So I'll go ahead and kind of take it out from the oil. So I'll place them into a sieve lined up with some paper towel just to soak up all the excess oil that we may have. So when I'm all done with this, I'll go ahead and continue with the rest of the egg rolls. They are all done now. It's looking good. So this is all the finished look. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you some other time. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah. Show me